Okay, I'm coming at y'all to talk to you guys really about like what I'm going through right now. Um, I started the process. I'm gonna get straight to it because I know I hate when my fuck is being prolonging the topic, the main point. So I'm gonna just hit y'all with it. But basically, um, I've been off tea for five days now because I'm starting the process of freezing my my eggs. You know, so I can have kids, so I can be a dad. You know, um, yeah. I've I know that's like a big thing, like. To me, the biggest part of this whole process is the fact that, like, I really had to sit down and think about if I want kids. And that's, like, scary because, like, bro, I'm 20 years old. Like, I'm not really tripping about having no kids. You know, like, I say I want a kid, blah, 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 but I don't really want no kids right now. So, like, it's, it was hard to put myself in the mindset of, like, do I really want kids? You know what I mean? Like, I had to really think about it. Like, dang, how would I feel 10 years from now if I wasn't able to have kids? Like, if I didn't go through with this process, I wouldn't be able to have kids later on. Um, what was a high chance I wouldn't be able to have kids just because like me being on T for that long I mean, I could still have anyways I wanted to do this now to solidify the chance of me being able to have kids or at least give myself a higher You know option or higher chance uh, Not option, but yeah So yeah, I made the decision that I wanted to have kids So this is what I have to go through to have the kids. So basically um, I have to be off T because they're gonna like um, freeze my eggs and take them out of me and the tea doesn't really like go with the eggs type shit i mean like the, the testosterone could hurt them so it's not like a good um i guess environment if i was on tea so i have to be on tea for a minimum of five weeks so this is my fifth day and i'm just gonna tell y'all some of the things i've been experiencing bro like literally the one thing that i've noticed like Besides, like, feeling, like, less energy or just feeling, like, emotional, blah, blah, the one thing I've noticed that is just so prevalent is the fact that I get heat flashes. Bad, bro. Like, I've literally had, like, five today. Like, more, bro, probably, like, bro, it's so bad. Like, I'll just be chilling, right? It's not even that hot, and I'll get fucking hot, like, fucking hot, bro. Like, I start sweating. Like, it's so fucking bad, and it, it's so bad. Yeah, that's, like, the most... Like the worst side effect of stopping tea that i've experienced and i did stop tea just like cold turkey i didn't really because i'm trying to get this shit done like the whole process should take about a month because like five weeks off tea so like a month a month and a half month or two uh, around there nothing more than two months nothing more than two months but yeah like i'm trying to get it done like i'm not really tripping about like you know uh, weaning off of tea and making like now nah, i cut off that shit because i'm trying to get this done and everything but yeah um, I'm gonna like post my journey and shit because one of the things that I looked up a lot uh, when I was like deciding if I want to do this was I was looking up trans guys that have went through this but for me it's different because most trans guys do this before they even start tea and I was given the option before I started tea but uh, two year, two and a half years ago when I wanted to do the egg uh, freezing process it was all out of pocket no insurance covered it and uh, yeah I didn't want to do that it was like 8,000 out of pocket I was 18 years old without 8,000 in my pocket, so there was no way that that was gonna happen. So I kind of just started tea and like, you know, pushed the idea to the back of my head, but like, especially too, cause I was 18, right? I couldn't fathom the idea, like having to be hit with the, with the like task of deciding if I want kids at 18 years old, it just wasn't like, like it was a lot for me. So I was just like, man, like fuck this. I'm gonna just start tea and see what's up later. And here we are later. So now, uh, being two and a half years off tea, I'm doing this process. But yeah, I was trying to find trans guys, right? That have been on tea for like two years, three years, have been on tea, period, right? And have stopped tea to do the this process. And I wasn't really able to find that many people, if any. I think I found um, someone on Reddit, like, you know, not even a YouTube video. Or like, a, I, hadn't, I didn't see a real person talk about their experience. Or I think I saw one, one guy. Like, maybe one or two guys, but that's not really that much information. Especially, like, you know, when you want to know, like, how is it going to affect me since I've been on T for two and a half years. And now I'm going to go off of it, even if it's just for a month, you know. And one of the biggest things I had to face was, like, the psychological part of it. Like, I know that in a month, I'm not going to look different. Like, two and a half years of T and the changes are not going to reverse in a month, right? But it's just, like, damn, like... I'm kind of dependent on testosterone. Like, I've literally had a shot every single week for two and a half years. And now I'm not going to take shots for, like, five weeks. You know, it's kind of scary. Like, damn, I'm kind of dependent. But me being off of it for about a week now, um, it's kind of freeing at the same time. I was like, man, let's see if you could, like, let's see how it feels to be off tea. Because, like, 
you know, just to see how it feels. And right now I'm chilling. Um, yeah, I know the only thing that the most thing that will probably affect me is like emotionally. Like I might feel a little more moody or something like that. But we'll see. I really can't speak about it until it happens. But uh, yeah, I'm still going to the gym. Basically still doing everything that I did before T. Before T. Basically doing everything that I did before stopping T. So I doubt my body is really going to change. If anything, I'll just do the same. Um, testosterone definitely does help muscle come in faster and all that stuff. And yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But um, now I just got to put in the work hella hard and I'm cool with that. So for a month, I swear like this is for like a year. But still, it's just a psychological thing. Like it's just a lot to to know like i'm not on t no more like my t levels are kind of low right now like that's kind of weird to me that like testosterone is not dominating my body like i'm used to that feeling i like that feeling low key high key but it's okay i'll be back and uh, i'll feel like i'll appreciate t more you know like you have to let things go to appreciate them more like it's true though like i just got so used to being on t that i forgot what it's like to not be on it so i'm excited to see um how this month is going to be but yeah, um, the whole process is like kind of scary at the same time, but not really because it's the only thing that like deterred me from it that I was like, oh my God, no, was because I have to do shots in my stomach uh, for 12 days, like to get the eggs ready to be harvested, to be removed. Um, you have to take shots for 10 to 12 days. I think it's two a day. Yeah, like one in the morning, one in the night, just stab yourself. But then I was like, bro, you stab yourself in the leg. This should be easier because I have a little bit of like fat. So all I got to do... Like, I really want to have kids, so it's not even like, a, oh, I can't do this. Like, even though I don't really want to do this, like, I, you know, it's not ideal to be off T. I'm still going to do it because the goal is just so much greater than this little hiccup in the road. You know what I mean? Like, I'm literally, I, I told myself, like, bro, when they give you the shots and it's time to do it, you're literally just going to get that shit. Bah, like, you're going to have to do it. Like, there's no other option type shit. Like, yeah, I really want kids, man. Just, just to be able to say, like, dang, like, that is my kid. Like... For real though, not even necessarily just the biological part, but like, okay, it is the biological part. But the fact that like, you know, I have big dreams for myself and I, I know I'm going to do big things on this earth. And it's just like, dang, how how empty would I be when I'm old and I don't have nobody to pass any of the, my knowledge, any of my uh, things to like, you know, like nobody to tell, nobody to, to pass down to all this stuff that I've I've gathered, all this knowledge I've gathered, all the, everything from life that I've gathered, and I don't have nobody to pass it on to, nobody to share it with, nobody else to help out, you know? Like, that don't sit right with me. Like, when I know I'm not really here to, to be the biggest star and shit like that. Like, it'll be cool when it happens and all, but, like, I'm really here to, like, leave a mark in a good way to, like, you know, at least, at least help people and, like, understand life. Because life is hard, man. And I just want to be able to, like, you know, uh, pass down like some of the tips I guess to life and just uh open people's eyes so people know what to focus on in this life because uh there's definitely gonna be life after me and I just want to like have that peace in my heart knowing that I, I left something that's you know valuable not just like money wise or property wise but like knowledge and and tips and like you know things that like feed your soul type shit like that's what I'm after that's really what I'm after but yeah, y'all, this is the process, uh, day five, I don't know when, I don't know how long this is gonna be, but I'll keep posting YouTube videos, um, I just wanna document this, cause this is pretty, pretty cool, man, like, this is going to lead to something way greater in the future, so, I'm gonna document it, but yeah, thank y'all for watching, and I'm about to go back to editing this video I'm editing, y'all will probably see it in a bit, but yeah, peace out. Yes, my video was recorded on the floor because I couldn't find no good lighting. I, it was recorded on the floor, period, right? But I just wanted to let y'all know, I'm sorry. I told myself I was going to work on this, but I haven't been making YouTube videos that consistently, so I really haven't had time to, you know, work on this. But I need to stop saying like in every sentence like four times. Like, bro, like, like, bro, like, shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, y'all.